Welcome to another exciting episode of Talk to Talk, where if you can walk the walk, we will definitely talk to talk. And I'm your host, Charles Gregory. And I'm your co-host, Madam Touch. And this is part two of an exciting interview with Philadelphia's own writer-director, Jamal Hill. And guys, we got the exclusive world premiere of A Couple Friends by Kendrick the Family Soul. Yes. You guys do not want to miss today's episode. Y'all, this your boy, Charles Gregory. And I'm Madam Touch, and this is Talk to Talk. Like I knew them for years, so it was like, a couple cool friends too, right? <laughs> yes, we were grooving and you know getting things going. Okay. We are here with Lindsay. What's going on today? Um, just came out to support Kendrick. I mean, the movie was to the point. Like they really, like it touched on relationships, and that's uh -huh. what a lot of people don't focus on. And they got one of the best relationships in hip hop and guess R and B period. People look up to them. They not ashamed to show us. That's major. Now, did you, you happen to get a little emotional during yes. the film? Me and my girlfriend was in the movie theater and I actually had to get up and walk out. Like, I caught her crying and I had to get up because I'm the cameraman. I got to take a lot of pictures for the show and I can't be walking around with tears in my eyes. Yeah, because it's going to be blurry. You're going to think it's the camera, but it's not the camera. It's going to be your eyes. I mean, but like I said, it really touched some, some powerful topics. Even with Chill Moody being a rapper, I'm an artist, and know how to balance. Because Chill Moody and his regular self, we have to learn how to be our regular self and be our entertainment person at the same time without depriving and not spending enough time with our spouse. Like I say, so, like the movie really touch, it touch home. That was high, I was really feeling that, that was no, high. No, no. That's why y'all better not go anywhere because we have a lot more to come. Talk to talk. Thanks for staying tuned in and Talk to Talk. This is your boy Charles Gregory. Coming up next, we have the exclusive with Jamal Hill, director and writer of A Couple Friends, featuring my clients, Kendrick, the family soul. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for more Talk the Talk.
Thanks for staying tuned in, everyone. Again, this is Talk to Talk, where if you can walk the walk, we will definitely talk to talk. And I'm your host, Charles Gregory, and sitting in for Man on Touch right now is our beautiful co-host, Amanda Johnson. I am the host of What's Your Point of View. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. I appreciate you, girl. Appreciate you. <laughs> now, Madam Touch has her favorite segments, but for me, it's always the interviews. Why? Because we can get down and dirty with the people who we have here as guests. Sitting in today is someone with whom I have a tremendous amount of respect for. Turned in to be a great friend. Worked with a few clients that I know he's down and dirty in Philadelphia doing some big things. We have West, Phil West Philadelphia. Can I'm, we say I'm West from, Philadelphia? I'm like a nomad. I've been around. <laughs> he's all over the globe, I'm ladies all city, and gentlemen. You know? Yes, all city Philadelphia writer and director Jamal Hill. How yeah. are you, sir? All is well. All is well. Blessed by the best. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming to yeah, the show. Nah, it's no other, it's no other way. You yeah. have a lot going on, brother. I do. Now you worked on, uh, I mean, like. Iron Man, and yeah. I Am Legend, mm -hmm. and, and and you know those were massive blockbusters. Yeah. That know? those are my film schools. Uh, I, I went to, I you know the the blessed thing about working with Will was I got paid to go to film school, wow. <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. You know I had I was I was given the opportunity to dabble in each and every uh, department. I did the camera department. Right. I was in the. Uh, Hair and makeup and wardrobe. You should know that because I was I'm heavy and hard <laughs> on my hair and hard makeup wardrobe. Yeah, and yeah, wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely. So yeah, it was it was. When you're in it, it's different. Um, looking back at it over the years, it's been like five years removed from that situation, and right. it's like, it's like wow, I really was there, but yeah. I was in it, so I couldn't really, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna say appreciate it, but I was really working. Right, right. You know, I was soaking it in, but now, like I said, I stepped out of it. It's like, whoa, yeah. that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So when did that? When did you get that aha moment? You know yes, what I mean? That moment yeah. where it's like, I'm on. Like I did it. Like you know. That, well, that. there's there was two. Okay. There was two. Right. Once was when I got the job working with Overbrook. Okay. Because yeah. it was like it happened in one night. Like one night I was jobless, looking online for a job. Wow. The next day Charlie called me and brought me right to New York. Wow. Like the next day. So when I was in the elevator going up to, to, to meet the boss, right. I was like, I'm about I'm to meet up. Will. I'm going up. And then literally. I thought that I was going to sit in like a waiting area mm -hmm. and then wait till he came out. As soon as the elevator doors opened, he was right there. Wow. With open arms, and it was like, whoa! Oh and it was like, now, that, that what, was definitely one of them. What kind of started you? And like, when did you find out that this is what you wanted to do as uh, far as production I, I can give or you, film? I can give you the exact moment. Wow. I was uh, in my house and it was oh three, mm -hmm. and Denzel was a well. They were about to announce uh, the Best Actor award at the Oscars, mm -hmm. wow. and I'm sitting there watching it, and. Keep in mind, no one black has won a best yeah. actor award since right, like Sidney right. Poitier. Yeah. And I think his might have even been supporting actor. Right. Mm -hmm. So when he won the Oscar, when they said Denzel Washington, I was wow. like, look at this. Wow. And at the time I was a barber. Okay. And I was like, you know, I'm not living my full potential, to my full potential. And I sat there and I watched this speech and I said, I'm gonna do something bigger than I imagined with my life. Wow. And I think the next week I went to community mm -hmm. and I took up writing classes. Mm. And that's kind of where it started. That's wow. what I was getting ready to say is that a lot of people out here have that moment. Yeah. I'm here, there's something more. Yeah. There's something yeah. more, there's something more. But you took that next step and you went and enrolled yeah. into something. Well, because my conscience wouldn't let me not do it. Right. It's one of the things you wake up in the morning and you don't know why you're depressed. Mm -hmm. But once you dig deep enough, you're going to find out the reason. Right. It's like, why am I sitting here complaining about working for this person? And I have the control to leave. I can leave. You know, I mean, that's just what I, well, That's I did, a good you know? point right there. That is, that you know, is. So that's just. So what do you think, um, because. Oh, another one, another, ahead. the I'm other listening. moment. Share, there share, there was two share. moments, share. Yeah. So the second moment was when we did the BET deal with uh, Streets. Right. And they gave me my airing date. Okay. And I'm like, okay, all right, we're gonna air, so. The day was approaching. Right. I'm like, is this really gonna come on TV? So I said, I said, let me call my people, tell them to come over my house. So we came over my house, That's right? Funny. And so we're sitting there watching, we're watching TV, and then when it popped on, I was like, my movie finally came on TV. Uh -huh. But that's not the moment. 
when I'm watching it, I said, let me check Twitter. Right. Let me check Instagram. And I checked right. Twitter and Instagram, and they were both trending. It was like every, everything was about the movie on there. Uh -huh. I was like, and, I, and keep in mind, yeah, everybody yeah. you follow don't follow you back. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, this has, this has nothing to do with me. This is a Philly thing. This is a, yeah. this is a movement. We, had, we, right. we really made a movement. Myself, Charlie, Meek, Nafisa. Right. We, we really made a movement. We really I believe so. I believe you did. Let's hold right there because we got to yeah. get ready to cut to a, a, a little break. Um, and when we come back, I want to jump into um, you and Charlie's relationship. Sure. And um, again, where do you feel like you can, you know, that, that combination between the two? Mm -hmm. One first, how did y'all get connected? And then where can we take Philadelphia? We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for more Talk the Talk. Yeah. Did you take the fish out before we left the house? <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. You don't got to say sorry, but you're going to be sorry when we eat in the Hogan tonight. <laughs> Yo, why we always got to take this way anyway? You know that's the longer walk, right? No, it's about the same distance. No? If we would have got off the stop up, we could have walked through the alley and been at the right now. Life goes by like the speed of light. It's hard to see the things we really need. I know sometimes it seems like your dreams will never be real I know how you feel Don't you know that faith is practical That's what makes it so wonderful You gotta believe Oh, look at y'all over there looking all comfy and cozy Like the damn Huxtables <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michelle. Oh, hey, Michelle. Yes. Say hi, sweetie. Now I'm going to say hi. Oh, you want to play? Go ahead. Go play. Oh, Johnny always want to play. Oh. <laughs> so how long y'all been out here? Oh, not too long. Okay. Yeah. Are y'all still coming to the house on Sunday? I am. Oh, what do you mean? You know what that means. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. Oh, no. What now? Okay, well he still hasn't found a job, mm -hmm. and he's moping around, and it's, it's wearing on the whole house. Look, nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody out there for me that can do me better. You show me that more than a time or two. Sure, yeah, to find somebody like you, so that could take forever. Glad my search is over and I found you Cause I could never let anything Come in between the love that we have here So should someone try Don't you cry There's nothing for you to feel Because you've been my strength While I was weak You stayed awake While I got sleep Tending to the babies It takes a special kind of woman to deal with your specific brand of love. <laughs> but I'm cool. Now, tr truthfully though, over the years, honestly, there's been too many signs, too many things we've been through to let me know that we belong together. It makes sense. I put pen to paper So many days, so many hours, so many words so many moments to recall Then my memory fails me And I start to get so angry Cause I was living in the moment And can't remember it all but How can I return the favor? Show my appreciation all the beauty, all the joy you bring It's hard work for love we labor in. It's a taste we truly savor You're the reason for the song I sing So let me express myself oh, It doesn't matter where it is where we begin And I know just where we've been My friend My friend My friend We are We're just a couple friends We're just 
Talk, where if you can walk the walk, we will definitely talk the talk. And filling in for Madam Touch right now today is my beautiful co-host. Amanda Johnson. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Absolutely, absolutely, girl. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. <laughs> now, before we left for the break, we was talking to writer-director, Mr. Jamal Hill, friend to the show. We were talking a little bit about Mr. Charlie Mack, first out the limo, and how <laughs> Jamal and Charlie got connected. So let's yeah. start with that. How you guys kind of meet up, get connected, and then how well, you plan on taking over the it's, world? It's a funny, it's a funny story. So, yeah. you know, Charlie gets chased down by everybody. Yeah. Everybody who wants a deal, a chance, <laughs> yeah, a yeah. break, <laughs> is chasing Charlie. And yeah, I was right. one of those people, right, right. you know, but, you know, I did a, I did a little project uh, for this record company called Takedown Records. Yeah, I remember Takedown. Yeah, yeah, it was quite a while ago. Yeah, and yeah. I had a project I did and I was trying to get it to him, get it to Charlie, but it was, it was okay. Right, right. I was still trying to get my game up. So when I did the Money, Power, Respect right. um, movie, a mutual friend gave him a copy of it. Hmm. And he was obviously interested in who made it. And right. so what happened was he gave Charlie my number. And keep in mind, I said that I was online the night before looking for a job, any kind of situation. Right, right. So, uh, Charlie called me up like eight o'clock in the morning, but I didn't know it was a 310 number. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the 310? So, you know, Charlie, yeah, uh, can I speak to uh, Jamal Hill, please? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's Charlie Mack. So I'm like, oh, Charlie. So I'm like, hey, Charlie, do you, uh, I seen the movie you did, Money, Power, Respect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was wondering if you wanted to meet up later on and, you know, talk about your career. Right, right. And I'm like, of course, sure. So what turned out to be a, was supposed to be a 30 minute meeting, we sat and talked about two hours. Wow. And we just had this instant connection. And that's a lot with Charlie, man, because, it, it, you know, it's kind of like, what do you want? What do you need? <laughs> you know, that's it. Goodbye. Yeah, no, I've seen tonight. Charlie <laughs> walk past people on his cell phone and look at them like this. And yep. keep, well, I, 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 I witnessed it. I yeah. witnessed it. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got two hours. And I, <laughs> you only get two seconds. Yeah, yeah, right. So, but the good thing about it was he got my movie unrelated to me. Somebody else that he respected gave it to him. Right, right, right. So he sat and, you know, took the time to watch it. And he said that this is his exact words he said it spoke to me and it's still the movie is still talking to me right now wow that's, so that's i was like big. okay well then because it's about the youth and one thing about charlie yeah, 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 he yeah. has a soft spot for uh, he does you know kids in neighborhoods especially in the, you know urban neighborhoods so getting back so the two-hour conversation literally turned into him calling will on the cell phone and says i'm gonna bring this gentleman up to meet you tomorrow right. wow. so we took the trip to new york the next morning and on the trip, we just talked about, you know, goals and ambitions mm -hmm. and, and um, it's like we've talked every day since that day. Right, 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 right. And this is at least six years ago. Oh, so, right. yeah, that turned into that. And um, Charlie's biggest thing was, I want you to empty your cup from the guerrilla filmmaking and refill it with studio filmmaking, mm. you know, because you, you don't understand the importance of black storytellers mm. that, uh, you got to get the right training. Yes. So he took it upon himself to, you know, introduce me to the biggest people he knew, right. or still knows, and transform me to a independent director, to a studio filmmaker. Hmm. And that's just the relationship. And it's grown from him trying to help a brother into us being brothers, you know. Hmm. Now, so. if you had to recommend something, like, because people are always carrying around something one of their products yeah. and trying to toss it into somebody's car window, like, yeah. just take this out. Get my gotta, demo, just take my go. demo. <laughs> what would be one of the things you would suggest to them? This is what some of the things you need to do before you step to Mr. Mack and say or this Mr. is what Hill. I have. Yeah. Or Mr. Hill. Who, what are yeah, some of the things no. you would recommend to them? Only you can help you. That's, mm. that's, that's just as real as it gets. Um, you're gonna meet people along the way that's going to assist in the process. Mm -hmm. But Charlie will tell you, he said, I'm just 
a piece of the puzzle of the right. Jamal Hill life story. I'm not, I didn't make you. <laughs> um, I'm, and I can talk about Charlie, but I can talk about quite a few other people right. that had the same impact in the same help process. My wife, my mother, my, uh, my children, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, again, Charlie, my brother Rodney, Curtis. This is, it, it takes, a, this is a team effort. Sure. There's no way you can get to a position where I'm sitting in by yourself. Right, right. Um, it's a team effort, right. and I just happen to have one of the best teams in Philly. Fantastic, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the biggest setback for people, you know, when it comes to projects or movies or film or whatever? Um, you know? Thinking that something's working against you when it's actually working for you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Explain it. Like, for instance, uh, there's no way in the world you can build your body up without tearing muscles and, yeah. and, and going through that pain. Mm -hmm. It's a process. You need to go through a hundred no's to get to one yes. I know that's right. Yeah. So yeah. what you think is discouraging is actually helping you out. That's true, because a lot of people, that's as soon as a door deep. closed, they go turn around. No, go to the next door. Yeah. Don't turn around and walk away and go to the next down. I welcome those because they make me, they, they, they're just, Ooh. they're designed to make you stronger. It's yeah. like, okay, you're going to yeah. regret that now. I'm going to make sure Let of it. Let me tell you about regret. <laughs> I got a list of rejection letters wow. from, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put on blast the studios and the production company. <laughs> it ain't even necessary. It ain't yeah. necessary. It's, I mean, it's talk. <laughs> like, talk. Let's that up. Let's that No, but I, I tell you, but I keep them for motivation. Right, right. Yeah, you know, it's just, a, it's just a process. That's There's it. no way, you know, this is a bit, it's, it, you got to be a big boy or yeah. a big girl in this yeah. world. You don't yeah. get many. No one cares yeah. about your dreams. How about that? The world don't stop for you. They don't huh? care about you until you until you can help them. Nobody right. has to that. do anything yeah. for you. Yes. Yes. And yes. some people think, oh, you got to help me. No. You know like nobody has yeah. to do anything so, for anybody. Not. You know, you, you, you take care of your dreams and, and, and treat them like your child. And so you wouldn't you wouldn't put your naked child out in the rain and you take care of it. You put an umbrella over top of it. You yeah. mm -hmm. treat that dream the same way you would treat anything precious. Right, right, right. How yeah. important are film festivals? <sighs> you want the real answer or do you want the We, we want the real answer. Well, talk talk. I, I, <laughs> we you know, I, I kind of think talk. film festivals were, were invented initially to help the independent film community. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think what they turned into is how can those films help the festival? Ah, oh, you know, and it's like, the reason I say that because l lately there's no, there hasn't been any real films that broke from festivals. Remember how Pulp Fiction exactly. broke Ooh. with the Sundance Film Festival mm -hmm. and Reservoir Dogs and yeah. uh, 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 a few of Spike Lee's joint? Like that doesn't happen often anymore. Yeah, you don't exactly. really get that. And that's my point. A lot of people, oh, I'm going to a film festival. Yeah. After film festival. Yeah. After film festival. Yeah. After film festival, right. but nothing yeah. is really, nobody is coming out. Nope, nope. And I think the reason that it's happening is because the same way with music. It's so easy to make a movie now with the digital technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the game is being oversaturated. So it's harder for the cream to rise to the top right, right, right. and to get the look it used to get. You say, for instance, a film festival used to have maybe 200 entries. Right. Now they get thousands. thousands yeah. So it's really? being hard, it's getting harder to get that look. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm not, not to discourage anybody because you just, one thing about this universe is your destiny is your destiny. So oh, yeah. whether it's going to be a film festival or a Charlie Mack or whatever, whoever is going to discover right, your right. project, um, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I remember watching this interview with Prince and Dick Clark was interviewing him. He said, I heard that you turned down five record deals. Mm -hmm. And Prince's answer was, yeah, I turned down five. He said, at the age of 16. He mm -hmm. said, why? He said, because they wouldn't let me control the production of my right. whole album. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And Dick Clark was like, oh, well, aren't you aware that record deals don't come that often? And Prince said, well, my destiny is already set. I know who I am. I know that's it's right. It's just a matter of who do I want to do business with. Who do I want to do business yeah. with? Fantastic. That's an excellent exclamation point to this interview. I could talk to you all day, but unfortunately we hey, have to wrap hey. this up. Yeah, likewise. I appreciate you for yeah, coming no, out, brother. Anytime, anytime. Yes. So, so before anytime. we leave, why don't you tell people how they can, I guess, get in contact with you or yeah, find the best you? Way, the best way is Instagram. I'm yeah. addicted like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, I'm on Instagram. Uh, it's yeah. at Jamal Hill. Okay. Uh, under, what is it? What is it? Is it at Jamal Hill underscore? 
And, um, or just Google you, right? Or just Google. Yeah, Google. <laughs> yeah, that's Google. what everybody, you know, Google just Google. Google. We don't even give out numbers anymore. We <laughs> yeah. just give our Instagram <laughs> at Jamal Hill <laughs> underscore Holland. Yeah. You know? I'm there. I'm well, there. I appreciate you for coming yeah, out, man. Thanks for having me. Yes, Thanks absolutely. And you got promise you. you'll come back out. You know, Pleasure. when you get all big and stuff, and you just promise you come back. To I'm talk big to now. Talk. I'm here now. Know, that's right. That's why we appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you so. Without that. Left to be said, it's nothing else left to be said. I'm your host, Charles Gregory, with my beautiful co-host for the day. I am Amanda Johnson. Yes. Awesome time. All day, all day with writer, director, Philadelphia native Jamal Hill. And don't go anywhere. I'm your boy, Charles Gregory. This is Talk to Talk, y'all. Yeah. This episode of Talk to Talk was brought to you by the sponsors at nvxexotichair.com. What up, it's your girl, Lola Monroe. The secret to celebrity status hair is out. MV Exotic Hair offers 100% virgin human hair that lasts a year or longer, guaranteed. I use it and I absolutely love it. No shedding, no tangling, it's amazing. They carry Brazilian body weight, Peruvian, Malaysian, and Cambodian. Go to nvexotichair.com, that's the letter N, the letter V, exotichair.com, and get you some fly stuff. I was feeling that Jamal Hill, Jamal Hill. he is the real deal. Real deal. Philadelphia native in the building. Yes. Writer, director, good job, Jamal. Yes. Yeah, shout out to the family, Kendrick Family Soul. Kendrick the Family Soul. You know I love them. They're my clients. I'm kind of partial. Love. I'm partial. Hey, hey look. Girl. They're the family. Family. Good job, Amanda. Good job. Amanda killed it. Amanda interviews. Good job, man. Mandy, she in the building. Hey, girl. Talk to talk. You know? Look, we have more hot talk to talk interviews yes, just do. like that. Just check us out. WeTalkPhilly.com. Oh. We talk Philly backslash on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Follow us. And, 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 and you know where you can hear it. Brrr, Beyond Pod, Beyond Stitcher, Pod, Stitcher, iTunes, iTunes. We all we worldwide, yes, baby. Yes. You can catch us on the Tizoob every right. Monday, 9:30 p.m. Yes. on Comcast and Verizon. Yes. Y'all stay tuned. Next week we got some good stuff. Good stuff. I'm your girl, Madam Touch. So Gregory in the building. And we are out, y'all. See y'all next week. Yes.